Okay, the next section is on geometry. The word geometry breaks down into geo and metri, or geo and metric. The word geo means earth, and a metric is a measurement. So, earth measuring. The origins of geometry are in surveying. In fact, they go all the way back to 2000 BC in the Nile River Valley of ancient Egypt. This is where our agriculture began, or it was one of the places that agriculture began. The problem was that people who first, when they first discovered agriculture, they generally had one kind of seeds to plant, and they would plant it over and over in the same way, in the same fashion, and they would exhaust the soil. However, every year the Nile River would flood, and that would destroy everything in the valley, but it would leave behind a rich sediment, which meant that they always had fertile soil. So they could have this long-running civilization. They could do things the same way every single time, plant the same crops, follow the same rituals, have the same traditions, and they didn't exhaust their soil because they got new soil every year. The problem being that when there's a flood every year, first of all, you have to get everyone out of the way. And if your leaders are calling themselves gods, they need to know when this happens. So, first of all, they needed accurate calendars. They needed to watch the sky, they needed to know when the stars were in certain positions, what times of year it was, when is the flood coming, because when, you, know, you want to make sure everybody goes to high ground and you take all the valuables away. They also needed the ability that when the flood waters receded and there was just this big flat expanse of mud, they had to divvy the land up quickly. If you leave that land alone for too, too long, then weeds are going to grow all over the place. And if you don't, uh, if you want to be the god emperor of Egypt, and I'm sure you and I, we both want to be the god emperor of Egypt, you need to be in charge of things. You need to say, you have this plot of land, you have this plot of land. You have to divide it up quickly. What they would do, there were these surveyors called rope stretchers, and they would stretch long strips of cloth with knots at regular intervals. And if your family was entitled to a stretch of land that was 40 you know, measures long, they would stretch out a piece of cloth and they would count 40 evenly spaced knots. And someone would go along the ground and trace in the mud a long line. And that would be, that would be how they would measure the, the, the farm plots. And they have this really cool trick for making right angles, which we will cover later. But this is the origins of geometry. The origins of geometry are in ancient Egypt, dividing up the floodplain when the waters recede, and also determining who had, you know, if you had a larger farm plot, you would owe more taxes to the emperor, the pharaoh, the whatever, the leader of Egypt, and taxes were in the form of some of the food. So you would grow as much food as you can, and you gave some of it to the pharaoh, and in this fashion, the pharaoh was able to feed his armies and feed his, his you know, astronomers and his priests and his everything, and you're able to, for one of the first times, not just be a hunter-gatherer, but have lots of different careers in in your society because not you can produce more food than you need and you can feed other people. So that's the beginnings of geometry.